How you all doing? My name is Mithul Ashikumar, and today we're going to talk about transformations. What is a transformation? It is a process that manipulates a polygon or other 2D objects on a plane or coordinate system. A pre-image or inverse image is the 2D shape before any transformation. The image is the figure after transformation. There are four different transformations in math. What are they? They are dilations, reflections, rotations, and translations. What is a dilation? A dilation is when the image is a larger or smaller version of the pre-image. You could call it shrinking or enlarging. What is a reflection? It is when the image is a mirrored pre-image. You can call it a flip. What is a rotation? It is when the image is the pre-image rotated around a fixed point. You can call it a turn. Finally, what is a translation? It is when the image is offset by a constant value from the pre-image. You can call it a slide. There were two types of transformations in math. Hmm, what are they? We'll see. They are rigid transformations and non-rigid transformations. What is a rigid transformation? A rigid transformation does not change the size or shape when producing the image. Reflections, rotations, and translations are examples of rigid transformations. Let's take translations as an example. This is the pre-image. When we produce the new image as a part of transformations, the size and shape does not change, which is why translations is a rigid transformation. Now you might be asking yourself, what is a non-rigid transformation? A non-rigid transformation can change the size or shape or both size or shape of the pre-image. A dilation is a non-rigid transformation. Why? This is the pre-image. When we produce the new image as a part of transformations, it changes the size but not the shape, which is why dilations is a non-rigid transformation. Even if the size and shape change, it is still considered a non-rigid transformation. Hope now you'll know what is a transformation, what are the four different transformations, and what are the two types of transformations. If you still have questions or suggestions, please comment on this video and I'll discuss it with you. Thank you all for watching this video. If you find this video is helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share this video. Thank you.